by the power that raised Christ from the dead, there must be restoration in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please pay attention. Let me give you by the Spirit about four keys that are responsible for restoration. Are you ready? Number one, the first key that is truly responsible for restoration, if you want God to restore moments, time, or whatever it is in your life, the first key is self-examination. The power of self-examination. Second Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. It says to examine ourselves whether we be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Examine yourself. Can I tell you this? When people are downcast, they do not take the personal responsibility of saying, listen, why am I here? This is not self-condemnation. You have to learn to sit with yourself. Why are things not working for this family? Why is it that I have been in Lagos for 10 years and I've only celebrated the testimony of others? There is something about the responsibility of thoughtfulness that most believers do not submit themselves to. You have to sit down and ask yourself honest questions. The Bible says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Luke chapter 15 from verse 17. I'll just cut it and start from verse 17. This is a very classic story that, that demonstrates responsibility and the power of self-examination. This is the story of the prodigal son. The Bible says when he came to, he never said the Holy Ghost spoke to him. Uh -uh. You, it is within your power to come to yourself. Sometimes you see pain is a gift. Because it can bring you to a point where you come to yourself. It is true. When things happen too cheap, when you keep reaping harvest for seeds you did not sow. There are many of us who have been shielded by the love of others. And it has never given us an opportunity to examine ourselves. Whether you sow or not, someone's harvest, he will share it with you. And chances are excellent that you can think that because you are receiving a harvest outsourced from another, you don't see the value of seed time. You don't see the value of anything because someone else is shielding you. The power of self-examination. You must learn this. Have a time where you stay alone with God. Lock yourself, go somewhere and say, Lord, I, I, I'm not happy at the way my life is going. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1 says, it says through desire a man having separated himself he seeketh and intermeddleth with wisdom once you separate yourself you have separated yourself from foolishness too the moment you take the pain of separating yourself it is wisdom you will encounter are we together yes why is my business not working why is my spiritual life not working I've been born again for 10 years, but I barely know anything about the principles of scripture. Why is it that I'm not attentive in church? You have to examine yourself and ask yourself very honest questions. The power of self-examination. Number two, what is the second key that makes for restoration? Brokenness psalm 51 and verse 17 brokenness do you know what brokenness is brokenness is a state of recognition recognizing your inadequacy your inability to help yourself unassisted that if god does not come into this equation of my life to help me my best will still be limited brokenness Many people want God to restore them, restore their dignity and their honor, but that sense of self-righteousness and pride is still alive there. In the story of the prodigal son, listen, the father did not come to meet the rebellious, arrogant son. The father came to meet a son that was already repentant and was ready to be restored. 
are we together brokenness is very powerful you walked out on your ceo and you lost your job you are secretly hoping you will get back to the job but you do not have the humility to be broken to admit that i was wrong and somehow you are hoping it does not work that way brokenness is not um brokenness is not something you assume it is a state that everyone around you will know this person is broken there are many people today if they were broken enough they would have re relationships restored together with the privileges if that boy sat down there the prodigal son i presume if he stayed one more year in that foolishness he would have died because he was already close to death he said how many hired servants does my father have and i'm here feeding with the swine i will arise and i will go to my father and when i meet him i will say father i have sinned i won't say father it was just my mind my mind was playing some emotional games call it what it is i have sinned against you i have sinned against heaven the character of brokenness is that it admits without shame are we together pastor i am sorry i offended you this is not the way it should be it was carelessness i take full responsibility that's brokenness the bible says a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise many 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 people are unable to experience restoration in their lives because they are not genuinely broken genuinely broken there are many children who would get back the support of their parents their sponsors their loved ones if only they communicate brokenness in truth and in sincerity is that true brokenness number three what's the third key that makes for restoration knowledge 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 Proverbs 11, I, I believe verse 9 says, Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Isaiah chapter 60 says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You arise and you shine when your light comes. Knowledge. Knowledge of what? Not knowledge of your situation or knowledge of what you want. Knowledge of what it takes. Listen most people know what they want they even know what they don't want but they do not have the knowledge of what it takes is that true so this is what i want i desire this so desperately and this is it here the bible says that this should be given to me but you must know have the requisite level of spiritual illumination that takes you from prophecy to experience otherwise you will keep wishing things that will never never manifest in your life it takes more than knowing what god has said it takes more than knowing what god has told you to have it is that true you must find out the the participatory condition he has connected to that promise you're acting in keeping with the condition is your demonstration of faith that faith is not just believing alone believing is part of the process of faith faith is the name given to the action of obedience you take as a sign that you believe god i don't know if i've demonstrated it here but say for instance i call this gentleman and i say come and pick this you see don't come but just say you are coming say you are coming look at this shout it again say i'm coming 2018 say you are coming 2019 say you are coming 2020 the promise is still there waiting you have not manifested faith you've just been wishing that you will have it and someone will come in 2022 my brother walk and come and collect it and you are wondering where did you come from uh -uh. it is the person who took the action of faith lord i'm going to build a house you've never found out where there's an empty land 
you are waiting for your bank account it does not cost money to go and know where land is and say lord i have seen the land and someone who came from nowhere now the person is roofing his house and you're wondering faith is not just saying what god has said faith is doing what it takes as prescribed by scripture to make what god has said be manifest in your life are we together thank you knowledge we need high level spiritual illumination let me challenge you i want you to go back home and write a list of all the areas in your life where you have not seen the word of god produce the kind of result that you desire knowing that god is glorified in your results remember what the bible says it says let your light so shine before men that they may see god wants men to see because in seeing the result that proceeds from you, they will glorify God. Herein is our Father glorified. John 15 and verse 8. When ye bear much fruit, not little fruit, sustainable, predictable results brings glory to the name of the Lord. Are we together? Galatians 1.25, it says, and they glorified God in me. They glorified God in me. The excellency of the workings of the word in and through your life. It compels all and sundry to know that Jesus Christ is lifted and glorified in and through your life. God is counting on everyone here as a membership. Counting on individuals that through your life, your life will become a living epistle. Someone will look at your life this year and anything he did not understand in the morning, he will look at your life for the explanation. If he, if he read his Bible in the morning and he saw that God was faith, that God is faithful and he did not get that Bible study, God will tell him, look at this pastor as an explanation, a clarification to what you have learned. That's what it means to be a living epistle your life explains what people do not understand about god when god says that he can favor men if they say lord i, I, I is it real that you can favor men he personifies his word embodies it in an individual so that you become a, a demonstration of it nicodemus came to jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him there are certain results that are not within the realm of men when you see men manifest that result it it, it was outsourced from a dimension that is higher than this human dimension and I'm praying for someone here. The frequency of results that you will begin to walk in. You will be the first person surprised by your results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Do not allow anybody downplay the place of results. Your Christian experience will remain a frustrated experience. If you do not have genuine, notable results. Gentiles will not come to you. They will come to your light. Their kings will not come to your light. They will come to the brightness of your rising. Preachers, here, whether in this ministry or those who came, this is the year to contend for high levels of spiritual power high levels of wisdom the kind of wisdom that is connected to mighty works business people this is the year to operate at a dimension that your contemporaries will come to you and say we have discerned that god is with you believe what i'm saying results are powerful results can evangelize they, there are there are there are certain messages that only results can preach. The Bible said the Greek seek for a sign. The world is tired of vain explanations from Christians. 
one genuine result in the name of the Lord can bring to end decades of confusion. Knowledge. We rise in this kingdom by knowledge. There is what you must know. There is what you must know to reign and to excel. There is what you must know to remain on fire. There is what you must know to access the spirit of wisdom. There is what you must know about kingdom influence. There is what you must know about longevity. There is what you must know about wealth and abundance. There is what you must know about dominion over systems and structures. There is what you must know about relationships. The question is which aspect of your life are you short? Go back and become a spiritual archaeologist. He said, for everyone that seeketh, find it. Jesus gave a parable. We're praying now. He gave a parable and he said, the kingdom is likened to an individual who lost a coin in a room. The coin means a treasure. The power to make purchases was missing in the room he knew that he, that coin is somewhere the first thing he did was he brought light the second thing he did was to carry a broom and started sweeping i know this breakthrough is somewhere in scripture i don't know what verse i don't know what principle but i know in scripture god lifts i know in scripture god restores i've not understood the dynamics you are sweeping sweeping with messages sweeping with prophetic words and the Bible says she found it and she rejoiced. Can I tell you this? Every time you claim you have found something and it does not show in your life, you are yet to find it. I found your word and it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. Listen, light is powerful. Light is powerful when you find this thing you have found it believe me listen you can gain mastery in the spirit you truly can gain mastery in the spirit he say he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully move past the realm of trial and error shadow boxing and hoping that one thing or the other will work you can rise to a level of predictability in your christian experience that you wake up in the morning and you know you will be favored today you know paul said but i know whom i have believed he said i am persuaded knowledge knowledge you must submit yourself through the labor dimension of faith to access knowledge no matter how great a door is there is a small key that opens it and you can put that key in your pocket but if that key is missing you can stand before that door from morning till night but then if you find the key that is knowledge you need understanding because there are times that you can have the key and the dynamics of opening that door some doors you turn once some doors you turn twice for others you turn and do some other things the bible says in all thy getting get understanding knowledge tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it knowledge says give but understanding tells you how to give in a way that prospers you knowledge tells you pray understanding tells you how to pray to get results knowledge says fast understanding tells you the kind of fast that has been commanded it's good to have knowledge but in addition to knowledge have understanding understanding brings stability to your life my time is up number four the last and then we'll pray be sensitive now i want to pray for you the fourth key that activates restoration is the prophetic. Hmm. 
Someone's life is changing. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. Isaiah 42 and verse 22. Never forget this scripture. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it. Read with me. They are for a spoil and none say it. Restore. Restoration does not just happen. Someone must say it. None say it. Restore. None say it. Restore. In 2 Kings chapter 6, when you read the first seven verses very quickly, 2 Kings chapter 6 this was a very interesting rendition the bible says the sons of the prophet said unto elisha behold now the place where we meet with you is too small so they, it was a desire to advance next verse it says let us go we pray thee unto jordan and take thee every man a beam and let us make a place where we may dwell and he answered and said go ye verse 3 and one said, be content, I pray thee, go with thy servants. And he answered and he said, I will go. Verse 4. So he went with them. And they came to Jordan and cut down wood. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. He cried and said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. Wise man. Many people would try to jump inside the river and die there. No. There are certain results that you cannot just get it by yourself. God has positioned people within the body that in addition and in connection to your faith, this man cried and said, Alas, master, I'm in trouble. I borrowed this. The prophet said, Where fell it? And he answered, he showed him the place and he cut down a stick and cast it thither and the iron did swim. The iron did swim. The finances that left you did come back. Because you see, everything that left you is still on earth. Under a certain condition, it can come back. This is true. Please listen to me. When the prophetic is administered outside the boundary of scripture, it just becomes a display of ignorance with no potency and power. But when the prophetic is administered within the jurisdiction of scripture, it works wonders. Listen to me. My beloved people, there is a dimension of growth and restoration and excellence that only the prophetic can bring to your life. When you lose money, it's not another business that will bring the money back. No. You will only waste your time and keep digging deeper. It is the prophetic that will bring it back. It may look like a physical structure brought it back, but it is the prophetic. The economy of a whole land had gone down and a prophet said, by this time tomorrow. He gave it the timing and by the morrow, there was restoration. I saw this vision and I knew that the Lord wanted me to teach and charge and prophesy restoration. Listen to me. God can restore men. God can restore things. And God can restore time. Do you know how God restores time? He does not take you backward. He takes what was in your yesterday that should have happened that did not happen. He brings it into your tomorrow. Are you getting the point now? You have to understand how God restores because God does not exist in time. He does not even exist in eternity because eternity is time. It's just time without end. Infinite summations, you no know, summations of infinite dispensations. God dwells in a realm that is neither eternity nor time. 
so there is nothing like past present and future with god that reality is only given to men to help us relate with god there is no such thing as a future there is no such thing as past god's realm is now that's it so your yesterday is as clear and real to god as your tomorrow there is no difference are we together so he can move something that should have happened in year 2000 2015 maybe at that time when that prophetic word would have come you were not sensitive god can move it into january and february and make it happen in your life this is restoration in one minute wherever you are i want you to pray very passionately and cry based on this word ask the lord to bring restoration don't waste this moment go ahead and pray all the centers that are following overflows those following online here is your chance to contact the grace that makes for restoration lift your voice and pray he barakos kadela kashande la katsozi beheskedi alasi. And I will restore. Shabrate keskadi belakosi diash. Krande barakatos kadi breti gelahasia. Someone pray. Skata brate keda lakos kadi brende lahasiata. Let there be restoration. Pray. God can restore people, relationships. God can restore things. God can restore years. Someone is praying, Lord, I've wasted 10, 15 years of my life. I wasted it not being a believer, but now in Christ, I am aware that it is within your power to restore. I call for that restoration. Hallelujah hallelujah the bible says and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt it was the lord that brought them but the instrument was the prophetic it says and by a prophet they were preserved let me read this one scripture and then i'll just take two or three minutes to just minister and speak over your life and will end with an altar call nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11 please do not forget this scripture nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11 restore i pray you to them even this day their lands their vineyards their olive yards their houses also a hundred part of the money and of the corn and wine and oil that ye exact of them listen to that scripture someone is making a decree he said restore everything their lands vineyards olive yards houses hundred part of the money the corn the wine the oil verse 12 then said they we will obey we will restore them and will require nothing of them so we will do as thou sayest then i called the priest and took an oath of them that they should do according to his promise it was the priest that came to seal it a command has come restore but there must be the priest that says sign you must make this happen restore restore my joy restore victory restore everything 
listen the Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion it says we were like them that dream our mouths were filled with laughter and they testified among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i sense in my spirit that there are people here i tell you i sense such a strong anointing we just have about two or three minutes we're not taking too much time but i want you to believe in the power of god the power of god is his currency for purchasing realities for believers That as a result of this encounter many of you will return with tearsome testimonies and will say i've not seen it in this fashion before hallelujah there are three categories of people i want to pray with very quickly very very quickly and then i just speak over our lives number one I want to impart the grace for speed listen truly believe me when I tell you there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace for speed that when that grace comes upon an individual you know because you will have dominion over time dominion over time many of us are, are limited by time dominion over time i want to pray for you i sense such a strong anointing i'm seeing the number 24 even though i'm going to pray for everyone we, we, we have just my time is up so we'll not have we still have a session hopefully tomorrow either here or any of the centers but i want you to be very very sensitive i want to pray now there are people you are moving but your life is too slow you don't have all the time for that level of slow movement i want to pray there are people who will start running by the anointing please i want you to help them if you can bring them out here let's have them i stretch my hands to the god of heaven no 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 you don't have to come out your co the anointing will bring you out in the name of jesus right now by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i decree and declare bring them out Paratos break at all speed take that grace take that grace in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare over families over businesses speed 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 HICC lucky hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare over you speed in the name of Jesus speed in business speed in your spiritual adventure my goodness may that hand of god rest upon you in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus bring them out if you can just one minute and we're done Parandesh every delay that has kept you bound so that you want to move forward and you're unable to move forward in the name of jesus christ I come by the privilege of the election of grace and I declare those chains let you go now let you go now let you go now speed speed every closed door that will not let you move forward I speak to that door a father be open Fata, be open doors of opportunities in the name of Jesus doors of grace doors of new seasons doors of discernment doors of the prophetic doors of the apostolic in the name of Jesus Christ you have lost that left your life and should not have left I stand by the power of the prophetic
between now and the next three months i call upon my god hear me i'm speaking to you everything that left kapatos katigata that left your life your destiny in 90 days by the spirit of grace i command it to be restored now everywhere the overflows the centers be restored be restored be restored be restored be restored and anyone holding what should get to your hands and has refused to release it i call upon the god of jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind let it be restored a hundredfold every pending project that you've started and has refused to be completed the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will become will, will, will perfect it i pray 2022 i speak it that let this be your year of completion what god has started in your life this is the year you will see it completed hallelujah final prayer for you every destiny helper anointed to locate you and partner with prophecy as far as your restoration is concerned wherever they are i prophesy to the north the south and the east and the west by the spirit of grace i call them to your life now i call them to apakosh katebelekatabasiya I call them to your life now. HICC, hear me. I speak to you by the spirit of grace. Enlarge to the left. Enlarge to the right. Enlarge to the east. Enlarge to the west. Break forth to new seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ. Businesses break forth. Families break forth. Ministries break forth. Career break forth in the name of Jesus. That when men say there is a casting down, for you let it be that this year there is a lifting up. Hear me. Everyone who is part of this spiritual family, whether here represented in this branch, across the other branches, connecting from around the world, I speak and I decree and declare in the name of jesus as god has declared to the man of god and his wife i join my faith with them and i speak this year may you see a performance of prophecy in the name of jesus and for all who are out here i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that everything limiting you it goes for your sake now you will go and return with testimonies from this night not tomorrow from this night in the name of jesus christ please return to your seats rejoicing now very quickly we're out of time i want to make an altar call listen we are in the days of his power we are in the days where it is costly to reject jesus here's what the bible says please look up let me have your attention all the overflows all the centers following please pay attention there are men and women you must find them in every meeting ordained by god and of god who come there in need of genuine salvation others in need of restoration spiritual restoration and i believe there are people in this auditorium all the overflows and all those who are following you're saying apostle i genuinely need jesus christ not just as a religious or church thing i need a functional relationship with the god of the bible and there are others who are saying apostle i need restoration as it stands i cannot say i'm proud of my spiritual life i know that i need restoration 
very quickly we have just a minute for you wherever you are inside here i want you to quickly come and stand before me i'm going to count one to five run like there's fire on the mountain one you want to make jesus lord of your life please don't come arbitrarily make sure you understand what you are doing two thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done the greatest experience that the believer can have is the experience of receiving the life of Jesus in this encounter that we call the new birth an exchange of your weakness for his strength his life imparted into your spirit for all of you who are in front here whether making a first time decision or rededicating your hearts to Jesus please lift your hands high above your head say this after me truthfully don't play games with God we are in the days where we need high level spirituality to excel in this life some of you are crying there's no reason to be ashamed this is an encounter with Jesus say after me Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart and I believe that you are the son of God tonight I come before you just as I am I ask you to wash me to cleanse me make me anew I believe that Jesus is my Savior my Lord and King and I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen Keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones they have come declaring your lordship over their lives and scripture declares that as many who would come to you you will in no wise cast away i pray by the authority of scripture and i declare that your sins are forgiven and i decree and declare that you are recipients of the life of god in the name of jesus i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life from tonight and forever you walk in the newness of life in jesus name i pray now i see um forms okay just just be patient the counselors are handing you over a card please do well to have the card before you go back now here's what will require of you please do well to complete the cards legibly and I believe that after the service, there should be an usher of someone who you can pass it to. Um, complete all the details required. Make sure you have the card. Once you have the card, you can do well to go back to your seat. I hope I'm right on that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And for all of us who are left, I declare one last time that in the name of Jesus, as a result of this encounter, every expectation that you have, The Bible says your expectation will not be cut short. I pray for you. Everything that represents a request by the God of heaven who is my God and your God, I declare let it come to pass speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. In Jesus name I pray.